Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest on the line right now. Kelly right, Rowland. The Godiva, the Godiva chocolate coffee goddess. <laughs> What's up? How are y'all? Good morning. What's happening? Good morning. Uh huh. How, how are you you've been looking, you've been looking how- amazing and, and this inspiration to all of us. Oh, thank you. Boo, the first two, three weeks in quarantine, mm-hmm. I was learning how to uh, cook and Titan was baking cookies and brownies and stuff mm-hmm. every day. I was like, I can't be doing this every day. I got caught up. I almost got that quarantine 15 and then I had to get my life real quick. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much did you gain? I gained 20, but I lost it though. How much you gained? I gained at least almost 10 because he was, I'm telling you, he was baking cookies. I had a friend of mine who barbecues and I love barbecue. So she kept bringing barbecue over here because it was like a comfort food, you know, in a time where it's just so much uncertainty, you want some comfort food. That's exactly what I was doing. And we started making pasta. I learned how to make pasta. I was like, oh, I got this down. So I made it every other night. Uh Uh-uh, you ain't gonna have me. (laughs) (laughs) So what's your specialty in the kitchen? Right now, um, it is the pasta. I got the pasta down. Um, I made trout and salad. <laughs> and I just learned how to make oxtails with rice and goat. Really? Rice. Really? Yes, yes. yes. Um, uh, a Jamaican homie showed me how to do it. So I got it. So now we know why the bikini pick came, because you had lost in 15 and you was feeling good about yourself. <laughs> She, she said that 10, Charlamagne. From. She said she gained 10, she she 10, 10, 10 Charlamagne, 10. 10. But even still, like, I remember J-Lo posted this picture of herself, and I just drooled, and it was so much inspiration. And I keep it on my inspiration board mm-hmm. just to remind me, like, these are goals, like, just to take care of myself, to take care of your body. So, yeah. I was inspired. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened when I saw that picture because I think I did the opposite. Like when this first started, I was like, okay, now I have time to go and work out and cook and do things I don't normally get to do. I started off strong and then I fell off. And then you posted that picture and that day I was like, let me go run and like get back into it because I feel like I started, you know, I don't want to go backwards here. So you posted that and I said, okay, let me get out of the house. Oh, good. See, we all supposed to inspire each other in some sort of way. So J Lo inspired me from weeks ago, and now I'm oh, good. That's good, huh? Now how's the baby doing? How how is the baby now? Because baby's what five, ain't no six baby years no old more. now. Right, ain't five, no six baby. Years old. That's not a baby. No, <laughs> Mine is still. I still cool my babies. Mine. I got a six, five, and a three. They're my babies. But go ahead. No, but Envy, he's not a baby no more. The way he talks to me, <laughs> Titan is watching documentaries. Like he <laughs> is just his own little person, and it's the coolest thing to watch. And I'm just. I'm mad I didn't go back to back like you told me. Remember you I said, you have another one, have another one. I'm mad I didn't go back to back. They keep each other company. They in there with each other. They play all day. They only come to me when they gotta, when they gotta eat and when they gotta, and when they gotta go to the bathroom. Other than that, they don't bother me at all. They just do, well, they bother me in the morning sometimes, but other than that, they good. Yo, that's the hard part is because like me and his dad are his playmates. So it's like, mommy, can you play with me? And it's the sweetest voice. You can't, be a jerk and say ah oh, no or whatever like I have to like really like stop what I'm doing and have kind of like uh shifted my schedule to like around his or his wake up time you know what I mean mm-hmm. so and we've quarantined like really tough with another family um so he has his best friend that comes over that's about it okay. you know Kelly I was watching you on Mother's Day and I was watching you post like all your friends and all of y'all have become mothers now and I was like how how has motherhood changed the dynamic of your crew um, we can just sit down somewhere, drink wine, and watch them play. <laughs> That's about word, it. Word. <laughs> it's, I think it's, it's really, um, I remember when I had Titan, and Solange made this post that just made me boo-hoo cry, because, and mm-hmm. I just saw, like, I, I actually looked over all those, and I was crying that day, too, because it's really awesome to grow up with someone that you've been knowing since you was nine years old and or younger. I know for some folks out there and y'all get to share life together. That's really Mm -hmm. a blessing. And Mm -hmm. I didn't take it for granted. And whether it was women that I knew on my story or women that I didn't know, I just wanted to post mothers. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, and it just, 
like some of them I've known for a long time and watched grow up and we probably done some crazy shit together, but now it's just like we grown and it's mm-hmm. motherhood is a blessing. I'm sure. Now I saw you said that you and Tim do therapy all the time and make sure your relationship is good and strong and maybe some role play in the bedroom. So how is life at home with Tim right now? Life at home with Tim right now is a lot of fun. Although Tim is really wrapped up in golf, this man literally like practices this swing all day. So this is like like the backyard areas, like where he goes and has that little tent thing and practices swing. Does he have a simulator, oh, one of them golf, golf simulators? Does he have one of the golf simulators? Is that the computer thing? Yeah. yeah. The computer thing, they hit it into the net? No. Perfect for Father's Day. <laughs> Get in there for Father's Day, but he has he just has a tent. Um, but he has a tent and he hits the golf balls in there and he has the best time. But that's when I'm mm-hmm. getting on his nerve. I know when I'm getting on his nerve because he's like, and he walks to the, the <laughs> golf and things. So I'm like, let me sit my ass down somewhere. <laughs> is he having a you lot of what? coffee? In, is he having a lot of coffee in the morning? Oh, I try to make that happen. Yes, as often as possible. <laughs> you know, I, I saw the coffee video, Kelly, and, and you know I'm thinking about the bikini pic you posted, and it just feels like you got a, a different level of freedom nowadays. I, well, why are you feeling so liberated nowadays? You know what is is not even necessarily like uh, something about freedom. It's more so like wanting to have this moment to celebrate. Like my favorite shot of the video is where you see all of the women together in a different body. body all that melanin. <laughs> Oh my God. Like, honestly, when we were in the editing bay and we're looking at it, I remember the director did not put that shot in there. I just looked at him like he was crazy. I said, have you lost your mind? He was like, but this is <laughs> off. And because he's such a perfectionist, I love Steven. Um, but he had another shot and I was like, put this one in there. And when it came up on screen, everybody like around us got chills. So I was like, no, this is what we should you know, have. It was a celebration of black women. It was a celebration of brown and black girls. And it's important that we always see each other on screen. You know what I mean? And we're praising each other in our different tones, like I said, and textures and body types. Like that has to, and it's almost like, it's like a, I didn't need your permission to do this. I just wanted to do it. You know, I feel like sometimes, you know, I I grew up at least like where I remember looking at the cover of a Vogue magazine and said, this is beauty. And I was like, my face ain't on there. You know, uh, a body type ain't on us, but like, it was just one specific body type on there. And I'm just like, this is so wrong. And I'll never forget that feeling. And I just wanted us to be and feel seen and and heard. So that's what that was for. Now, how are y'all getting in in the morning? Because with the baby, or I should say the little one, the little ones come in the house, they come in the room first thing in the morning. So how are y'all doing it in the morning? Tell me so I know. No, let me tell you something. This <laughs> little is upstairs in the bed now. <laughs> so sometimes I'll let him, cause he's like having this, his imagination is so big. So I have to scoop him up and take him to his room. But we find, we just have to find our ways to, to get it in. You know what I mean? Whether if Titan's not up, I might sneak off somewhere or find him somewhere you just gotta make it happen you make it happen Envy. Envy. In the, not in the morning nighttime we good money but in the morning as soon as we start i hear mommy i'm like Fuck. no or or it's not quite when everybody wakes up it was like at four one morning so you just have to find your pick your times you know what you know don't, don't find me, Envy. A man got five Kelly, kids I, I, asking you how you yeah, have sex, Kelly. I'm just asking. Like he, like he don't nighttime. know how. Nighttime is good by me. Morning, no way. I try. No See, Envy usually does this on vacation. Like when we have the iHeart Festival and things like that, that's when he makes those babies when he's Vacations, out of town. That's right. No babies. Oh, fair. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Now, Kelly, I wanted to talk to you about this because I spoke about this in an interview that I did. And I was disappointed that I saw when you and Lala and Gabrielle Union were on live and discussing things like your favorite position. And people were in the comments like, oh, I'm disappointed that they're discussing these things. And what? And I was like, what is the big deal? I couldn't understand yeah. why people think a conversation like that is so taboo in this day and age. I think honestly, you know, you have some people that want to keep that, you know, quiet and I respect that. That's totally their, their, um, you know, feeling on it. I really don't care. Um, 
You know, I, I think I definitely used to be that prude until like the reason why I started the whole coffee with Kelly in the first place is because every day we were getting this crazy download of so much COVID-19 information and it was causing so, oh, so much anxiety for me. And so I had this text chain with some of my buddies. And so I asked them what a specific, I asked them about a specific, I think vibrator or something like that was. And they just hollered laughing like one at a time, like just sent all these different memes and gifts and stuff and so we continued this conversation for like another two hours about different ones and all these different things and I've just noticed like sex always makes people like laugh and giddy and you know what I mean it's just having fun and that's literally all it is and one thing that I love about La and Gabrielle Union is the fact that like we don't mind talking about that kind of stuff and it's it's fun talk it's girl talk and it's also healthy because you know if you're talking to people who are on there and they don't know anything or they're learning about it you know like we had this one girl come in and she was a virgin I was so in did you see that Angela did you see that yes <laughs> So you have moments like that where people are coming in because they have questions. And if they do have questions, like you help them answer it as much as you can. I'm no sex therapist by no means, right. but I can tell you about right. like my experience and help you through it or talk you through it. And I think that it's, it's healthy too. It's okay. It's okay. I like that you're doing the coffee with, with, I like that a lot. Like I think it's dope because I do feel like that was a side of you that we didn't see as much. We might hear it in the music but not mm -hmm. actually hear you talk about it. So I enjoy it and I appreciate it. And I think it's fun. Thank you. Thank you. I have a good time with it. Mm -hmm. why, 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 did you bring, why did you bring the vibrator conversation to the group chat, though? Were you recommending one or asking for one? Like, what was that? No, I was, I was at, well, because one of them is like a specialist. <laughs> one of okay. them is just like, okay. she knows about, one of my girlfriends knows all about them. And she's just like, no, and this is what you do. But don't press this button three times because if you do, like, she's like so detailed about it. But I love her for that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. I've heard people say that if you use a vibrator too much, it can numb you so that you lose feeling. And I've heard that happen to some people, like if you use it constantly. So for people who are isolated right now, using that vibrator multiple times a day, just be careful with that. So your senses don't go well, away. Don't, well, don't you, Angela, just tell them not to put it on the highest mode. Like if you right. put it on the highest mode, like you bugging that every time. <laughs> You might start shaking. <laughs> you sound like an expert over there. Don't put it on the highest mode. You put it on the low. She knows a lot. <laughs> you know, you know what else was a conversation? Is missionary boring? Is no. Is that a boring? Missionary. I don't think it's boring. Mm -hmm. Is this boring? Saw, who was, it? It? was it Lala that said that missionary was a boring? I can't remember one of oh, you she, said that. Yes. Cause, don't get me on Lala. <laughs> <laughs> Lala, Lala, Lala's like, oh, you a church girl? And I was like, a what? <laughs> so, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Now, with this out, when did you record Coffee? Did you record Coffee a couple years ago, or is, or is that something that you recorded recently? No, I recorded Coffee in 2017. Um, so um, what took so long? I, I, I see that. Because you know I'm crazy. You know I'm crazy. I, you know, I, I got probably like at least three albums in there, but I am done. I am done. I have like one more record that I need to record, but I'm done. And it's really, it's really exciting. But yeah, Coffee was done in 2017. I did the video the end of last year. And yeah, it was so funny because I was going to just hang on to it too. But I was speaking to my team and they were like, why are you holding on to this video? This is a really good time to put it out. And so I said, okay. And just, we just put it out. Why do you do so you many songs you, you, and don't put them out? Because you have yeah. been doing that for a long time, recording yeah. and not putting you know, them out. You just like, you just want to keep it all to yourself. Yeah, you got to define crazy. No, <laughs> I know, but the thing is, it's like, I overthink things a lot. And the good thing is that when I, I, I just, I don't know why I do that, but I'm not doing it anymore. And I'm finally about to release like music, just period. Because it just, I don't know. I think that sometimes I get kind of caught in the old world, you know, of the music mm -hmm. business. And this new mm -hmm. world is just like, no, just keep pumping out music as much as you can. So I have to get out of that dinosaur 1997, <laughs> mid, you know, you know, and. Uh, and well, um, you like have to set it up and set up the release and have all these things in place. Yeah, that's not real. That's not real no more. <laughs> mm -hmm. what, is, what is putting out music consistently? What does that look like to you, putting huh? out music consistently? What is music putting what is putting out music consistently look like to Kelly Rowland? I mean, I, I think at least you should be dropping music every quarter or every mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Every quarter mm -hmm. or like now, like I'm 
going to release something new soon. So it's just like, I think a song a month, maybe mm -hmm. a song a month sounds about right, right. to me. Right. Um, just feels like that's how you just continue to train. But I'm having to figure it out. See, I was thinking you that you were just busy, like producing shows, starring on TV. Like, I thought maybe you just didn't have a chance to sit down and say, okay, I'm focused on this now. No, I'm crazy. Charlamagne hit it on the head, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you, been, have you been watching the versus battle? The versus battles, I any watched, of them? I did. I watched a little bit of, um, actually, I watched Jill's and um, Erica's. I watched... I watched Kenny's and uh, uh, I mean Babyface and Teddy's the Teddy moments Riley. that I could. Yeah. Yes, uh, that was tough. I mean, you just think about like that era of music and just how rich mm -hmm. it is. And mm -hmm. I love the idea that they're just like refreshing like all of these catalogs, you know, for these mm -hmm. artists, and it's right. just beautiful. I love it. I love it. You see your guy this week though. Your guy is this Saturday. That's a dilemma for you, Kelly. Nelly versus Who's Ludacris. Who's gonna win, Nelly and Lud Nelly, Nelly Luda. versus Ludacris. Oh, that's a good one. Nelly versus Ludacris. That's your, that's your guy. Okay, now what do y'all think is going to happen with this one? No, we asking you first. <laughs> we asking you first. She's got to throw the question to us. us. <laughs> I don't know, because both of those are my boys. I don't know. Because <laughs> um, uh, I've done records with both of them. Oh, right. that's a hard one. As, as well, a it's, artist, a, it's a celebration, though. It's more of a celebration of the music, but it's not with the guys. Perfect. Yeah, not and with the guys. Y'all know that. In your head. Yeah. yeah, you're right. They do make it competitive. But no matter what, I think what it is, is it's friendly, though, between the artists, too, because these are people that respect each other or they wouldn't even do it with each other. True. That's true. That's true. As an artist, do you tune in? Would you tune into that just to see what the reaction to the records you're featured on would be? No. <laughs> so I feel like we proved, we proved that. Honestly, we proved ourselves. You know, it's and it's nothing. It's really nothing else to prove. I mean, we that record was like my coming out like record from you know DC. That was the first record mm -hmm. I had on my own away from the girls and it was what 11 12 weeks at number one and that oh, was yeah. a good feeling you know what i mean so i'm proud of that record period right. when you did coffee <laughs> did you take any inspiration from uh miguel's song coffee no as far as i know because the thing is the record was done when i got it the only i just literally wrote like one thing in there um but sid from the internet wrote it and Cosign just played it for me. I was like, oh no, let me record this. And so that was just it. So I don't know where she got the inspiration from. I just thought it was such an ease, like, and it had this like samba kind of vibe to it. And it had a bop. So I just, I wanted to record it. Now you mentioned yeah, the other one together. Like you're getting your, it looks like you're getting your eyebrows done during this coronavirus pandemic. Your eyebrows look no. amazing. Okay, so here's what happened. I plucked this one too much. <laughs> so it's, I'm kind of faking it a little bit. Right? <laughs> you drew it in? I'm faking it a little bit. I drew this one in. This one is all good. The cameraman just went straight to you. <laughs> you a good artist, Kelly. Yeah, you did good. You did your own makeup and everything. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you mentioned the girls. Are you and the girls? Are you and the girls going on tour after this? We've heard rumors that Destiny Child might be going on. Nigga, tour. Ain't nobody That's what I, heard. I said after. After the pandemic is over, <laughs> is that was that ever on the plan? Anything that y'all y'all thought of of possibly going on tour? I think y'all would know that first. We haven't talked it's about it. We literally been in pandemic. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> That's a good Burn. time to talk about it. Y'all ain't doing nothing. No one. No, it is, but no, no. I mean, but we haven't talked about it. We really, really haven't. Mm -hmm. But nobody's like gonna be able to tour for quite a while, y'all, which really sucks because it puts a dent in a lot of artists' uh, pocket, like. That's a, a big part of uh, bringing in money is touring. So this pandemic has hurt so many people. And granted, you do, like as artists, you find other ways to like, you know, make your money and hustle. But at the same time, that touring is a really big hustle. That's a big mm. part of artistry. And it's fun. It's so fun. So we don't know when we're going to be able to do that. Right. right. You, you ain't hurting for no money, though. Yo, that's why I said when you find other ways, you hustle. 
<laughs> yeah. Now, Kelly, have you figured out how to make music at home? Did you get Pro Tools and do anything like that yet? I know you've been saying you want to yeah. figure it out. Yes, yes, yes. I figured out my way. I got my little, I would take y'all in there, but it's just a mess right now at the studio. But yeah, I figured it out. Good. Now, how do you, Kelly, how do you know when a pick is not a thirst trap? Because you said the bikini pick wasn't a thirst trap. How do you know when it's not? Oh, y'all know I was just, that was a play on words, Charlemagne. Damn, it was yeah, a play I, on words. Got you, okay. <laughs> As you take a drink of water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it, so it, it, it did its job because I saw Rick Ross jump in the comments. What did Rick Ross say? He said, you got a bright future. That's what he said. <laughs> what? Oh what did that he say that for real? <laughs> yes. No, Tim, Tim, Tim posted, um, he said, every night I got to prove my love. <laughs> 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 Do you remember that line from, um, oh my yes. God, from yes. uh, the five Was it heartbeat? Five heartbeat? Was every it the night I got to prove my love. Every night I got to prove my love. I was like, boy, please. Now, now, so he didn't know you were gonna he didn't know you were gonna post that before you posted it, or did you be like, I'm about to post this? I ain't tell <laughs> So what did he say? And how does he feel when all these guys are making these comments like Ross and all of what, what what is that conversation like? That it was literally like every night I got to prove my love. You gotta prove every night. That's real. That's why he gotta go out there with them golf clubs. <laughs> he, he, he mad as hell he's stressed out then he come back in like okay i'll figure it out what if he blocked you from that I no 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 he would I, 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 I ain't going nowhere tim is my bestest friend Charlotte ain't seen us go. together y'all all seen us together yeah i seen you guys yeah. in houston in the club mm -hmm. what if um he posted a thirst trap tim would never do that what if you put on some gray sweatpants, no shirt? <laughs> you know the gray sweatpants pictures that guys. Oh, the gray sweatpants trip. <laughs> I don't think I would care. Don't give him no ideas now. Yeah, don't give him no ideas. <laughs> what if he created an OnlyFans account? <laughs> what if Only he created fans. an OnlyFans account? <laughs> hey Tim, you gonna put on some gray sweatpants and post a picture? <laughs> he said, "What?" You gonna put on some gray sweatpants and post a picture? He said, "I ain't thirst trapping like you." <laughs> so when the album dropping, Kelly Kel? When when the album gonna drop? I don't know, but it is coming. No, no, no. It is. <laughs> Are you afraid? Are you no, sure it's By the way, wait, 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 wait. Can I just say something? Can I just say something? I'm paying for everything out of my pocket. Okay. I'm paying for everything out of my pocket. So I'm trying to be smart about everything. I bought my songs, everything. But I, I'd like to do a video. When the hell am I going to do a video? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You, you're not on the label? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. You just with Rock Nation. Rock Nation is managing you still or, or partly managing? Because I know yeah. Hubby manages. Rock, Rock Nation is managing. Yeah. So it's just mm -hmm. like really, you know, tricky with, you know, us wanting to do videos. But it's, it's definitely like, man, it ain't going to happen for a while. But you know what? I've seen people do creative things right now. And as far as figuring out how to do a video, like g -E had crib. people send in G -E different things and one. he filmed his part. And you have so many people that you could get some really dope content from if you wanted to film something to figure it out. And it's this guy, it's this young kid, like in the middle of, I think like Nebraska somewhere, somewhere. And he's like done all these different cool effects with videos. And I did have my assistant hit him. So we'll see. Mm -hmm what happens right. with that. Cause I, so I love sure. finding things and giving people an opportunity. Sounds good. We got to make sure we extra support you then because you you are on your own. No label is all you. I see. You know what? I've been seeing you do a lot of lives, a lot of interviews. So you've been doing this all on your own. Yes. Wow. I'm not mad at that. You, th you think labels are dead, Kelly? I don't know if I would say labels are dead, but I, they know they scared of me because <laughs> they know I'm expensive. 
Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they look at an artist like myself and they're like, ooh, she gonna need glam. Ooh, she gonna need this. Ooh, she gonna need videos. Like, I'm also a visual artist. I always say that damn Destiny's Child just set me up. You know what I mean? <laughs> we had so many colorful videos and that was like a part of like who we are. And now it's just different. So I, mm-hmm. I get it. But streaming is making money, so they can't use that as an excuse. And, you know, you have that other, which I hate to say, but it is true. You know, some artists have a different, I mean, some labels have a different perspective of artists after the age of 30, 35. So, and I heard, I remember hearing Pink talk about that very, very candidly. And I was like, really, is that the case? And I had another conversation with a friend of mine and they're like, well, yeah, because, you know, it's, it's a, because it's like um he he was saying how you know it's it's tough whatever the, that means but yeah it's interesting it's very interesting so i do i am expensive right. <laughs> but i'll figure out my ways on a budget in a budgetary manner so yeah there you go. ageism in the music industry is so whack though especially when it seems like most of the a lot of artists are getting better with age in a lot of ways <laughs> Facts. And you know what, you know what does give me like faith and hope for just other women that are coming up in this like new era of music. Like didn't, I think, um, I think um, Lizzo, Lizzo is what, 29, 30? That's after 25. That's really good. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but you, it's just like, they don't pay as much attention like when you're 30. So I'm just really happy that they're having that moment. Although I did have a moment where you know, Sylvia Roan got me, I think, at, at 30, and she still put the money in. So you have certain people out there who are still wanting to see women be great after the age of 25. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy yeah. to me. Especially when all the older black women look way better than the young ones. <laughs> They've learned how to take care of themselves. <laughs> it's the truth, though. I think that you do get better with age and I think that you have artists that show us like why it's, it's so awesome I, you really do and you do get better with age it's a really mm-hmm. great great comment you do you do well let's introduce your record I think that's like the bridges huh no go ahead I'm sorry go ahead no, you say about the bridges you know I'm like no I said life gets richer like yeah richer, like more conscious more things to talk about Absolutely. Kelly did you see Vera Vera Wing at age 70 did you see the post of Vera Wing no. Oh, look that up. She's 70 yeah. years old, Vera Wang. And when I tell you she looks, um, just look it up right now. I just want you to see this because I looked at it and I said, damn, 70 years old. She looks, I'm like, okay, we got goals right now. Vera yeah, Wang. <laughs> She's looking it up right now. No, for real, y'all. When you see these wait, pictures wait, 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 of her and her... Her workout clothes and everything. She's wearing her workout clothes and she's by the pool. She's by the treadmill. Wait, she, is this her? Vera <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> that might yeah, be Vera Wayne, but go, not the one Angela talking about. Go through, go through, yeah, go through it a little bit. Go through it a little no, bit. No, but she's. Wait, 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 Angela, which one? You know, you know Vera. Just Google Vera oh Wayne. Oh my God! Look at her waist. She's seventy. She looks amazing. What is she? What is she doing? She looks amazing. <laughs> She's taking oh, love care it. of herself. Do you know what your next single is gonna be? Yes. Is it a secret? She's like, I ain't telling you. We're working on coffee right now. Don't worry about that now. <laughs> I just wanna know. I wanna know what's the follow up. I like to know what the plan is for you. Well, because like I don't wanna say yet. I feel like my mouth has gotten me into a lot of trouble in the past. Like just like, talking really? too early. <laughs> Yes, it's it's actually a quality I really appreciate about like Rihanna yeah. don't say nothing yeah. about nothing. Like she's like, oh yeah, I have a makeup line. It comes out in 24 hours. Like that's just some smart mm-hmm. shit to me. <laughs> so yeah. I think I'm gonna take that on. <laughs> okay. Well, We're not introduce mad at a that. new record for the people. Introduce oh, a new on, record real, for the people. One one more thing. Have you seen that old Destiny's Child clip that's floating around the internet, and y'all just talking about all type of birds and shit. Were y'all high in that video? No, you know, good and doggone well, we were not high in those videos. It sounded like y'all was high though. No, no, that was the 13th hour of the day where I remember 
they put on our schedule like this whole by the way the reason why we were i feel like truly we were such successful international so successful internationally is because we put the work in over there we'd be over mm -hmm. there for like seven seven days in uh eight different countries and literally just like have interviews all day and that was the 13th hour of wherever it was where this gentleman's accent was because i don't remember it was definitely a blur and he was asking us all these questions so yeah when you ask somebody what kind of animal you want to be i hate the ever like you you barely can string a sentence together <laughs> that's not happening michelle talking black panther like we were delirious <laughs> out of our minds so no all the, i mean it, it would definitely probably sound cooler to say yeah man we were but we were not far from that we were just <laughs> delirious got you all right, well, let's introduce the record right now. Let's get it on. Absolutely. This is Coffee by me, Kelly Rowland. All right, it's Kelly Rowland. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. <laughs> 